Hi guys, it's your girl Momo Gabi. Today I'm here to bring you the latest gist in town. This gist has taken me a long time to research and to do everything that is involved. But I'm just going to bring it. You can see the beauty on this picture. Her name is Clara Chime. She was the former first lady of Enugu State. She was the woman that was married to Sullivan Chime and they had a nasty divorce. So guys, I present to you the new husband of Clara Chieme. This guy is from Kaduna State and he's said to be a Christian and a billionaire. Wow. And Clara met her husband through the late president Omaro Yarodua's daughter. She was a friend to her, um, to Mara Yarodua's daughter. They went to school together. And as you all know, Clara, she lives in, she grew up in Castina State and she's friendly with Aosa people and she spoke Aosa fluently. So I guess that's how, you know, she met her dream, her sweetheart, and it has yielded her a ring. And she's now, this is her traditional wedding. It was held privately. And you know, this Clara of a lady, she's from uh, Omaro. Amoda, sorry. She's from Amoda, Isochi, in Umunochi local government area. You know why I'm so happy? I don't know. You guys know about this, um, what's her name? Osinachi case that is going on. This lady is actually the same village with oh, late Osinachi, the minister. So when you look at the two stories, her walking out and still on this air to find another love and Osinachi not making it, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because this woman is, um, is a, first of all, she didn't even consider she was a first lady. She, you know, um, she put a blind eye on all those things and walked away. And I heard that she was so depressed during her divorce, even her family. Her family was a part of her marriage crashing. Plus, you know, the man, the husband allegedly was treating her so badly. I'm not going to dive into that due to political or, you know, legal purposes. But I find out that when she wanted to leave the marriage, the family could not allow her to go because of her position, because they have contract, because, you know, they, it's a governor. You know, people want to be connected. So they kind of like, you know, use her for their selfish interests. And finally, finally, they confined her, you know, they locked her up. They say she was mentally ill, which um, I can't, you know, attest or deny. But she has come and had an interview and she said that she was not mentally ill, that she was so depressed from the treatment she got from her husband. And she also claimed that after her marriage that she slept with her husband only once, which she got pregnant to their baby, um, to their son. And, you know, looking at all, the, all those things, any woman will go into severe depression if you are in that marriage. Especially when people think, you know, you having it good you having it ball and inside the house is it's a different case i mean let us tell ourselves the truth but to cut the long story short i am happy she looks happy she has found love guys we can make it you know you don't have to be there you don't have to you know you don't have to um go through the emotional abuse, mental abuse, you know, psychologically abuse in order to please your people, please your culture, please your family. Look at this lady. After 10 good years, who thought it could come to this level? But she's here today. She's happy. She's remarried. She's married to a, a, an affluent man also. She, even not affluent, she's happy. That's the most important thing. Look at the um the director of King of Boys. Look at when she got married. We don't have to be in a hurry. Look at Rita Dominic. She got married at the age of 46 to 47 and she found the love of her life. We don't have to be in a hurry. So it's up to us, you know, we don't have to be another Osinachi. The world have cried for her. We lost a talent. We lost an icon. Her voice alone could make the demon come to church and go to heaven. But now we lost all that. Look at Clara when she was going through depression, when she was battling her uh, divorce. Look at how she looks, you know. And you could see that she was a very totally different person. Men, I don't know. Abuse <laughs> is not for anybody, please. <laughs> I'm not going to be a good 
eyes, listening to those um live band, what they were singing. Oh my God, it met my soul. It met my spirit. I am so happy for this lady. I am so happy, especially, you know, she coming from the same village with our beautiful sister Osinachi. And, you know, it could have been another story ended up like Osinachi's own, but she was smart. She was bold. I heard that she she ran away they say that she they claim she ran whether she ran away or she walked away all we know is that she left the marriage and today for 10 years nobody heard from her nobody could even tell what she was up to or what she was going through and all of a sudden she resurfaced with the love of her life you know from her beer from kaduna state i am so happy for this woman look at her smile look at her beauty Look at even Rita Dominic. Rita Dominic is so happy. You don't have to be in a rush. Look at, um, is it Kemi, right? Yeah, I think her name is Kemi. I love her too. Look at how she looks, how regular she looks with her husband. Look at Clara. Clara is so transformed, you know. Depression, depression, depression is real. When I tell people, I am a psych nurse. When I tell people depression is real, they think I'm joking. I'm not joking. Depression is real. Seek help. Seek help. And if you know what is causing you to be depressed please walk away from it it could be better in other way life is not a one-way street it could be better in another way please walk away from situation that makes you depressed walk away from things that take away your joy and learn how to love yourself learn how to say yes to yourself learn how to love yourself as a woman we need to encourage each other to walk away from situations that are not good situations that will affect us mentally physically emotionally even our family our children when we are in that messed up relationship, believe it or not, your children are seeing it and they are suffering from it. Your family might be enjoying the weight that comes from it, but they are also suffering from it. So guys, it's a high time we walk away from depressive situation and, you know, find our voice. You don't have to be like, you know, um, make everything troublesome or anything but you can there's a way you can do things amicably for the peace your inner peace look at clara i am so happy for this woman i am so 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 happy for her ladies we can learn from her she's a very big example a first lady she overlooked everything the crown the 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 praises the everything she overlooked what the world will say and she worked for her dear life and look at her today she's happy I am so happy for Clara. I am so happy and I wish Osinachi would have done the same thing. But all the same, we pray so that her soul will rest in peace. Amen. So guys, another thing I want to say with this video is like, you know, marriage is not black and white. What works for you might not work for me. What works for A might not work for B. So Follow your own pattern. Whatever works for you, let it work for you. Don't compare yourself. A lot of people are dying today in comparison. You compare, oh, this is first lady. This is, you know, um, governor's wife, president's wife. Look at FFK and the wife. It's exactly the same thing that is going on, you know, how they've had this battle of divorce, custody. Oh, God, I don't know. These affluence, I, I, I mean, I'm not even going to accuse them because I don't live with them. Let people be. It's high time we let people be. Let people do what they what they want. Because marriage, you are not the one living in that same house with the person. If the person said they are okay, they are done, let them be. Let them walk. Like the way people are, you know, trolling you, Edoche and Judy Austin. To tell you the truth, I don't even pay attention to them. Because at the end, I'm not the one living in that house. I feel for Mary, you know, Edoche. Because she has spent her 16 years thinking that she was in a real relationship. But her husband is eventually in love with another woman. I feel for her, you know, for the betrayal. But at the other time, at the other side of it, um, it's okay because at least now she can she knows the truth, you know, than being the fool in the marriage. So, guys, 
let people be, let people be who they want to be. When your sister wants to come back from her marriage, encourage her. But if you find that it's a tough decision that is messing her up, please support, family support. If you don't have family support, guys, that can drive you nuts. Anybody can disappoint you, but when your own family, your blood, the way they said that her brother could not let her get out of the marriage because the governor was giving her billions of you know, cont contract, contract worth of billions, and her sister was also in entanglement with the husband. Wow, that will make any woman go crazy. But I'm happy for her. At the end, I pray so that this marriage will work because this will be her second marriage, and they're going to have their white wedding in Kaduna State in a Catholic church. I pray for her so that this marriage will give her peace, that this marriage will make her days of sorrow to be a days of happiness, that she will be in love with her, that she and her husband, they will love each other and they will value each other so much. That's all I have for her and her husband. So guys, thank you for watching. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to do so. When you subscribe, put the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will be among the first to hear it. And please like this video so that it will help us in YouTube algorithm. Thank you, guys. I love you all like I will always do. And come back. Bye. <laughs>